Hey guys. hey guys! So 2020 has definitely been the year where our kids' learning spaces have intersected with our work and home lives, often chaotically. Work! But where there's a will, there's a way. That's why we're so excited to partner again with Osmo, whose self-paced learning, math, puzzles, and creative games have just been instrumental to our household's happiness. Presenting five ways to thrive, not to survive, home, home learning. learning. Number one, mom's mentality. We have to set ourselves up for success first. Yes, so Laura, you will not believe this, but during the pandemic, I have become a morning person. No Yes. <laughs> um, getting up between four and five in the morning um, with a little bit of help, because I find that when I accomplish something first, I am so much more patient and present with the kids. Mom, What's up? can I help with this? Yeah, I know me time is so hard right now, but it is golden. Number two, think outside Zoom. Even if your kids sit perfectly through online classes, the reality is there's less one-on-one -on -one learning. Oh yes, way more time wrangling assignments. <laughs> um, and that's why we love supplementing with Osmo because not only are they learning, but it's so much fun. Yay! We showed you guys the magic before. Somehow it gets pulled into the screen. Still not really sure how it works. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> um, and we are now loving the Genius Starter Kit because they're doing the math, the sentence formation. I did it. And actually asking us to do it. Yeah, and it's so fun. Number three, creativity equals calmness. Mm -hmm. I think art is so important right now. Me too. As a way for kids to just express themselves and get out that anxiety. And there's so many ways you can do this. YouTube tutorials, making books. But we are obsessed with Osmo's masterpiece from the Creative Starter Kit. Press and Sid <laughs> went crazy. They drew each other. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is so awesome. Oh. <laughs> they drew us. OK, ready? What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it was lovely. <laughs> Mine looks really good. So it. is yours. <laughs> I look crazy. <laughs> this is really hard, but fun. Um, and then <laughs> Presley drew Boo Boo, and I was legit impressed. Oh my god. <laughs> it's going up in a frame in my house. <laughs> so good. Number four, my favorite, make it silly. Lighten up the learning environment with some much needed humor. We've done this before yes. to rave reviews. <laughs> and today, inspired by the Math Wizard game, we are Math Wizards. What? <laughs> Who are you? I want you to pick a number. Now double it in your mind. Add six. Now divide by two. Now subtract your original number. Don't tell me what it is. You ended up with a number three. Yes! It's, it's always three. three. But in all seriousness, whether it's throwing on an old Halloween costume or just a blanket, these kids need to laugh right now. Ford, you are our math apprentice. What that mean? <laughs> <laughs> number five be forgiving. Rather than focus on perfection, which I'm definitely guilty of, try to cherish the small victories. Your kid may not be batting a thousand when it comes to Zoom school. Nope. <laughs> but if they are learning to code and really enjoying the process and you can see the wheels turning, that in itself is so valuable. That's right. This is so awesome. I just changed this and he finds his way. All right, guys, we hope this was helpful. We will link up Osmo in the description below. In the meantime, happy learning. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Stay sane. I just realized we're still in our caves. <laughs> I kind of like them. They're really comfy.